some huge updates about the move. Our, uh, our plans have changed. And we're gonna talk about that in this video. Hopefully we were in that shot. What's our update? Where do we start? We uh, toured the property. Uh, okay, so we got an offer on the house. We countered, they countered, we countered, they accepted. We officially have moved forward from there. We're not in contract yet. So if you're interested, you can still buy the place, but we are- <laughs> We're pretty darn close. We have a pending offer. Is that what they call it? I have no idea. Ask our realtor. We met the people who want to purchase the house on Saturday. They came for a property tour. And they were really cool. They're definitely homesteady. They uh, want to brew beer. Garden. Have, have some chickens. Chicken. So we were really excited to see that. If they wind up here, they'll they'll kind of continue the, the story here. Now they are in a situation where the place they were living in has sold already. They have to be out of there this month, right? They have to be out of there. April. Soon. Yep. Which means they want to close on this place soon, much sooner than we had thought. I thought we were going to like walk and talk. I don't know why I'm holding this jittery <laughs> camera while we... If, if they're going to wind up here, Whoa. they need us out at like the latest, like the beginning of June, which means our plans to just move out of this house and move into my in-law's house is not exactly gonna work. Is your calming today? I need this. Cows are so calming and I'm stressed about these changes and I just wanna absorb the cow calm. Poor ladybug's like, human men are so anxious. I get all jittery when human men show up and scratch me. <laughs> human men. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at all that hair now. Oh, so much hair on, the, on me. Okay, before we go on, we have to feed baby goats because they will scream through this entire next part and you really want to hear the details on what we're thinking of doing because it is, oh yeah. Everything? <laughs> is it everything? It's everything. We're feeding them while they're in their pen pens now to stop them from jumping up on us when they're eating. A few people recommended that we do that, so we're giving it a shot. We don't want them to keep jumping us, up on us when they're full grown. Come on my hand if you want. Ooh, Coca-Cola. Some people have expressed, con a couple people have asked us if Luna's getting enough to eat because they only see us letting her on Ladybug for about a minute or so each time we milk. Luna is getting more milk than that. We let her on after I milk. Also, she's getting 
alfalfa pellets, chaff hay, and hay full time. The vet checked her out when he was here, said she looks good, so she's definitely getting enough to eat. But now you gotta let me milk. Ready? Yep. That means our house is selling potentially months ahead of when we thought it would. Which is good, I'm glad it's not sitting on the market. But, my parents' house they're moving into won't be ready for another six months. Where are we going to live? My parents would have no problem with us living in their house. But we're a big family. And it would be good for us to have our own space for the next six months. to find a place temporarily to rent. We've got us, the kids, the dog, three cats, three goats, two cows, 20 chickens, 40 chickens. It's hard to find a place to rent that would let us bring everybody with us. Somebody was just asking about our feeders, the chicken feeders that we use. These are both Premier One feeders. I believe they're called the Handy Feeder. I'll have a link below for which model. I don't remember off the top of my head. Two of these is big enough to hold a 50 pound bag of feed, which for a flock of our size, they go through in just you know a few days, this will be gone. But the thing I really like, we have these rain hats on them. They fit right on the top. And this prevents not only rain, if they're left outside, all that feed won't get soured by getting wet. It also keeps the chickens from flying up and then pooping on the feed. It keeps the feed really good, really clean, which makes it last longer, saves us money. figure out if we're not going to be able to move into the big house, what are we going to do? We have two options. They're both have pros and cons. They're both pretty fun. Let's get into what our two options are. I was like, Wait. We have two options. What we think we could do first one would be building a yurt. It's funny because when we were, we just had our son as a baby, uh, the house we were living in was being sold and the yurt was actually what we were going to do, buy a little piece of land and put a yurt on it. So we, we've come full, t <laughs> even say it. we've come full, that's what I was going to say. So essentially we've come full circle. Life in the round. <laughs> We really loved the yurt idea back when we had one kid. Now, I'm not so sure I love the idea. Pros of the yurt are it's fast to put up. They're beautiful. What are the other pros? <laughs> That's They're relatively inexpensive. It's cheaper to put up a yurt than to build a stick-built house. Right. And they're mobile. Let's talk about option B. Option B, 
I think the option I like better, there's a big garage already on the property. It's like a three bay garage, 60 feet long, 17 and a half feet wide. And up above the garage is a already kind of semi-finished space. It's insulated. It's electric. Got electric. got electric. It has lights. They're like large fluorescent lights. It's not like homey lighting. It was meant to be like a workspace, but it's already there. And Austin was going to use it to put in a studio. I wanted to make a, vi a audio video studio for producing Homesteady. So finishing that space was already something we had planned a little bit farther than the road. Like a little bit each year. Now we could easily, easily turn it into a little apartment-like space which could be built with the studio in mind. A bedroom and then an editing room isn't that much different. I bet you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> The only difference is the bed. The pros of this is the building is already there, electricity is already run, but there isn't heat, there isn't plumbing, there's a lot still to be done. However, we were already planning on doing that just years from now. So it's something we wanted to do just earlier than we would have done it. The yurt would be like a 30 foot diameter, is that the way they do them, 30 yeah. foot diameter yurt? The building is, it's essentially a tiny home. It's a thousand square feet. So what do you think? Option A, option B. The yurt's really cool. It'd be awesome for our guests to stay in a yurt and it might be a simpler build. Option B, we are adding more value to the property by renovating a stick built space that's there. And a space that I can use with Homesteady, you know, forever. <laughs> After we move out of whichever one, the yurt or the apartment, we are going to want to use it as a guest space. And if it's the space above the garage, also studio. So it would be kind of like half guest space, half studio, whereas the yurt would just be guest space. We want to know what you think. Pros and cons. Are we not thinking of certain things? This is very new. Last couple days we've been talking about these two ideas. Do we go yurt? Do we go apartment building? Leave us in the comments below pros and cons you can think of to both. Help us make this decision. Choose your own adventure. Plus, if anybody out there has done either one of these things, please let us know. Yeah, if you've lived with a family of six. What would you do? What would you do? How many kids do you have and then what would you do? <laughs> Either way, it's going to be interesting, but it's only gonna be for about five months-ish through the summer. Yeah, you know how construction goes though. It could easily be longer than that. Not gonna be too hopeful about just five months. If it's six or seven, okay. It's gonna be perfect, but nothing ever is. My parents are lovely people, and I'm sure they'll try as hard as they can to finish the house. They watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Norman Robin. Hi, Mom and Dad. <laughs> we have a lot to figure out, and a ton to do, and like two months to do it in. This is, this is insanity. Have fun watching. I'm telling him to be positive about it. <laughs> Every day, be positive. I will be It's positive. an adventure. And uh, make sure to sign up to the email list so you get all our videos. And we'll see you in tomorrow's video. And later this week, we'll tell you the decision we've made, whether we go yurt or apartment in the big building, because we need to decide quickly so we can start building it, which you'll see us start doing soon. <laughs>